Hello there, folks. I'm Walter Benaziak, and this is Top 5. Who's the most famous movie composer in history? Not exactly a brain teaser. It's, of course, the legend himself, John Williams. And today, we count down his Top 5 Best Film Scores. A while back, I asked you guys about your own favorite film scores from John Williams, and I got a ton of feedback. If you want to join in on those conversations or vote on polls about what I'm going to cover on future shows, make sure you follow me on Twitter at awesome underscore Walter. This was the most difficult top five I've ever done. Mr. Williams' work speaks for itself, and it was extremely tough to keep it to just five. Also, when it comes to music, personal taste vastly varies. So keep all that in mind as we count down the top five best John Williams film scores. Number five. I'll admit, I didn't grow up watching the Harry Potter movies and only saw them a couple years ago thanks to this guy. But I was always aware of and impressed by the music. Starting in 2001 with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's slash Philosopher's Stone, Williams was the main composer for the series through the first three films. From the fourth movie on, other composers were used, but Williams' main theme was kept intact as it became a hallmark of the film series. Capturing the tone of a book through film, much less music, can be extremely difficult. Hedwig's theme somehow encapsulates wonder, mystery, drama, adventure, and magic. I think it's vital to get the audience into Harry Potter's world, and from the first note, we are engaged. Years and years before seeing the films, I actually played this main theme for a grade school band performance. I can remember being entranced by it and wanting to go listen to the real version. Very few movie themes made me imagine an entire world without ever seeing the film. This did that for me, and gladly, I did eventually see the moving pictures the music was set to. Harry Potter just beat out one of the honorable mentions. I went back and forth on it for a long time, but Harry's theme won out. Let's move on to number four. If you saw part one of my top 10 best Robin Williams performances video, you know I love Hook and it holds a special place with me. Well, a lot of that has to do with the amazing musical score to this film. Hook came out in 1991 and was directed by Steven Spielberg. It starred Robin Williams as Peter Pan, all grown up, while rediscovering his former life in Neverland. At this point, John Williams and Steven Spielberg had teamed up quite a few times already for some iconic movies, but I do think this score is often forgotten when talking about the best of his career. Imagination and a childlike exuberance filled this score to the brim with almost tangible emotion. What I love about the Hook score is its sense of playfulness mixed with an unequaled feeling of adventure that has yet to be matched by any of Williams' other scores. Peter Pan rediscovers himself in this movie, and the music cues for this rediscovery have never failed to give me chills. Melancholy undertones even out a score with a full set of powerful, poignant moments. Hearing in music the soaring heights of Peter's return to flight and villainous dark lows of Captain Hook's anger and vengeance continue to be, maybe, the best part of this film. Honestly, the more I listen to this music, the more I love it. This is Peter Pan. This is awe-inspiring. This is Hook. And this music will never, ever get old. Number three. Indiana. Indiana Jones is a three, 
four-part film series, with the first movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, debuting in theaters in 1981. Williams was the composer on all four films and added to his musical legacy with one of the most recognizable themes in the history of cinema. The hat, the whip, and the theme. You can almost hear the escapades of Indiana Jones just by the playing of his theme. It's something that slightly evolved through the years and incorporated other memorable melodies heard in Raiders and The Last Crusade. I was fortunate enough to see the score played live alongside a screening of Raiders of the Lost Ark by the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, and it's even more impressive in person. It's very difficult to find one definitive theme as synonymous with a single major movie character as this is here with Henry Jones Jr., aka Indiana Jones. What can top Indy? Well, two more scores. Number two. This was pretty much a given. Maybe not in the spot you expected, but still a given nonetheless. Star Wars, of course, hit theaters in 1977 and has become one of the biggest phenomenons ever in pop culture. Along with Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the score for Star Wars really put Williams on the map as a master of his craft. He's composed for every film in the series except for last year's Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. We all know and love the opening crawl main theme that accompanies the big episodes in the series, but the music of Star Wars is much more than just that. We have the emotional Binary Sunset track that is as iconic as anything, and as the original trilogy went on, we got even more incredible themes. The Imperial March and Yoda's theme stick out as special from that time period. When the prequel started years later, Williams did anything but phone it in. Say what you will about the Star Wars prequels, Lord knows I have, but the music was as amazing as ever and wasn't once called into question. Williams actually built upon what came before with new tracks that are nearly as iconic as the ones from the original trilogy. While Battle of the Heroes is fantastic, the prequel song most people point to when discussing those selections is the super intense Duel of the Fates. After Episode 3 came out, they released a special CD-DVD combo called Star Wars A Musical Journey, hosted by the Emperor himself, Ian McDermott. I wore that thing out watching the DVD and listening to those tracks. You really got an all-encompassing look at the Star Wars music from the first two trilogies, and it put everything in perspective for you very well. As unbelievable as the Star Wars music is, there's one theme that I like just a little bit better. As stated before, these top five selections were extremely difficult to choose and order, which means a lot of great ones couldn't fit onto the main list. Just about every score that John Williams has ever done is an honorable mention at least. But before we get to number one, here are a few more of my personal favorites. And the number one best John Williams film score is I can't help it. I freaking love this theme. I think it's my favorite movie theme, period. John Williams scored the original 1978 film directed by Richard Donner and starring Christopher Reeve as the Man of Steel. The subsequent sequels and whatever Superman Returns was supposed to be still used his main theme and cemented it as the theme for Superman. While Hans Zimmer's Man of Steel score may be the most tolerable thing about that movie, the Williams score is still what most people recognize when thinking of the Man of Tomorrow. 
Even putting aside Man of Steel, Superman has had some amazing themes. The Fletcher Superman cartoons come to mind. However, there's a reason why this is by far and away the best. It oozes the essence of Superman. Everything he's supposed to be is in this song. Altruistic, mysterious, powerful, honest, full of integrity with an optimistic sense of destiny. Goodness. Superman is the ultimate good guy, damn it! He's Superman! I love this music because it reminds me of everything that is good. Despite the terrible things that happen daily, it's important to remember that good things happen every single day too. I'm not saying ignore the bad things, but our lives can be much more tolerable when we keep in mind that there is more good than bad in this world, and it's up to us to fight the bad and uphold the good. That's who Superman is. That's what this music is. That's why it means so much to me. You don't have to agree but at least recognize that as much as we have the potential for evil, we also have an equal and even greater capacity for good. Superman is all of us. He's us on our best day. A reminder of what we can be, and together, what we can achieve. This music captures all of that, because that is Superman. I want to hear what you guys think. What is your favorite John Williams movie score? What do you want me to cover next on the show? Leave a comment and let me know. If you missed the last two weeks, go back and take a look at my lists for the top five best 90s Nicktoons and Cartoon Network shows. Also, make sure you check out Awesome Comics from yesterday, where we ask, is season six of Game of Thrones the best season yet? Follow me on Twitter at awesome underscore Walter to take part in more polls about what I may count down in the future. Come back next week for a brand new episode of Top Five.